Hello, and welcome back to Game Domain. Microsoft's E3 conference was back-to-back -back game trailers, showcasing highly anticipated games like Kingdom Hearts 3, a new Halo game, and the topic of today's video, Forza Horizon 4. Though the trailer was only two minutes long, there was no shortage of information to be found. First of all, this game will be a step in a new direction because it will take place in Great Britain. It appears that the developers paid special attention to including historical monuments into the game. One commenter pointed out that you can see the Scott monument in the trailer at around 40 seconds, for example. The second major announcement is the inclusion of changing seasons. Now we'll be able to see things such as the leaves changing with the seasons, and snowy weather changing to rainy weather. The developers have said that things like roads covered in leaves will actually change driving conditions, and they paid careful attention to the ambient audio for each of the seasons. It's also important to note that each season will last seven days in real time. If immersion is important to you, this game should definitely be a step up in the series. Now, if you haven't played a Forza Horizon game, you likely won't understand the appeal compared to other racing games. Well, the most noticeable difference is that Forza Horizon is a much more open world experience. What you choose to do is largely up to you. If you want to compete and progress in the story mode, you can do that. If you want to screw around and crash into things, you can do that. Or you could just cruise around and enjoy the view. Now that I've opened the subject of the open world nature of the game, I can move on to my next point. The scale of Forza Horizon 4. One analyst noted how the music playing over the trailer is set to a cover of I Can See For Miles by The Who. Taking that into consideration, there is definitely the possibility that Forza Horizon 4 will be even larger than the previous games in the series. In addition to this, each server for the game can hold up to 72 players. Having 72 players in any of the previous games would cause the game to feel packed. Surely the developers would think ahead before shoving like 70 players on a map that was too small, right? Next up is the addition of crossplay between PC and Xbox One, which is a step in the right direction, although I personally would like to see some Forza games on the PlayStation as well. Last, but certainly not least, is the inclusion of motorcycles. We don't know for sure if they're going to be in the game, however they are seen in the trailer. Motorcycles have been requested time and time again by fans of the Forza franchise, and they're a fairly simple way of implementing new features to an already well-established series. Forza Horizon 4 will be released on October 2nd. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and check out some of the links in the description, as there you will find our Discord, our sister channel, and some of our most recent videos. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned to Game Domain for more gaming news and content. See you next time!